Hello, Internet people! Ninja Wesley bringing you another video in the Winformation series. This is the third in the series where we take a look at some of the things that I have learned and or just figured out from playing Battle Royale games and decisions that I make and why I make those decisions. Basically, I'll just be narrating a lot of my actions as I step through the last bits of, of some of these wins that I've got and why I go through the win and that sort of thing. Alright, Today we're going to be looking at a squad win, the end of a squad win, about about five minutes to the last part of a squad win, uh, about 20 minutes or 15 minutes of a solo win, and another squad win at the very end. Uh, what we're looking at now is just a clip of, of me destroying a team with a car 98 and a uh, red dot. So uh, I just killed one of these, one of these guys and I'm trying to find the other two. I'll let this clip play out. All right, we're gonna jump in here. That's We've just finished stuff. a fight with another team in this little alleyway there. here at the end of the game. Um, it's about the third circle, I think. Uh, fourth circle, actually. You can see it right there, circle timer four. I see the bullets. Um, so it's about to be four, the end of the fourth circle. Oh, no, and right there. Right there. It's a trio game that we're playing, and we're in the middle of downtown. So uh, we're gonna move up to where we just, just heard I'm some people anywhere. fighting over here near the buy station, and... Uh, I'm gonna oh, try and take the semi high ground here in, in the in the construction site right here. Because I always like to be their teammate. in a high as a position as I can get in a given situation. Because it gives you lots I of options. If you're up high, you have the ability to jump down very quickly. But if you're down low, the, you can't get inside. up to the top. They're running inside. Quick. You know, so it's like they um, just open a door. I'm trying to UAV trying overhead. to give myself options and alleys and avenues they're of escape. Out. I know they're coming out. Um, I'm also trying to figure out where the uh, rest of the team might be flanking while my teammates move up towards the door. area we heard the team. The Somebody parachute? Somebody, Somebody just jumped down on top of this building. I down him barely with my uh, with my uh, here. I see a guy shooting my friend through the window, so I shoot him through the window and down him. I hear the guy come up on top down. again. He rezzed himself. He had a self res. I hear that and I down him, but I get shot from another another team entirely to the left. Oh, I see him. And, they were uh, and I back up to try and get I out of the line of sight of the dude that downed me and, and get res here. Good? No, there's but a guy on the roof. Uh, I think the guy that downed me was part of the team, actually, because he's going to come around the corner here behind us in just a second. He's going to try and Armor push through the, Gas mask. In the alley. See, I can hear steps now. I hear steps, so I turn around. I get ready to fire. I blast him. I think my friend is, is in the mini for a second. There's one right by We're going to skip ahead a little bit here. There's we one moved underneath up me. to the rooftop of where we just oh my were. Gosh. There's a ladder you can climb. He's shooting at me. God dang it. And we get flanked. Down one. We get flanked from, uh, from the alley. Team wipe. Luckily, my teammate okay. kills Coming down the, to you. the team no, I'm good, I'm good. that downed my, my third. Oh, I can see more coming. Just behind you, behind you. Uh, well, I, hear, I hear shots out here somewhere, so I'm looking for where the shots were. While my partner reses you know, my start teammate. If you start and it, I see a guy and I in the, pick you up, it, in it the picks up right construction where site there. I, I, I down him, but I can't finish, unfortunately, because he's what? too close to the edge of... I just, I I just have to ignore it. But... I hear some more shots. This is about a minute later. I hear some more shots in the building to my right. I see a over there. I saw somebody jump, dip into that window. And, uh, I don't know why my shots are missing this guy right here. Maybe he wasn't... Maybe it was a dead body. Kind of disappears there. I guess. I guess he already died. Nope. But I see somebody else, and I take. I take him down, but I can't finish. There's no way I can finish that okay. kill because. Down here uh, at the bottom, being cruising. Uh, there's no way I can close close enough to get in the building and finish that. There's one inside here. Or inside My the teammate building. moves up because I've I've called out where the enemy is. And I've seen him. So while my teammate's yeah, moving up, here. I'm looking behind. Yeah, he to just make threw sure a grenade nobody's or something. Coming from where I just jumped from, or, and or the, across the street in that building there. So we're in the final circle now. I throw our, I throw some armor down for my teammates if they need it. The circle move, what the and hell? the circle is, uh... Yeah, it rotates now. What are we gonna do? It's now moving back towards where Coming we out. just came from. Come out. He's either there on top so or he's gonna come up. Coming out. So we back up, and... 
and we take a, a, a better position. Jump Here, down, couple guys start jumping from the roof. We break, but can't finish either one of them. And somebody else jumps right out here. and go in front. My teammate's trying to push. What the hell? Die. I, I barely got down. I don't know. I got the last hit. I don't know. Even though I shouldn't have gotten that. And I move yeah, over to see these dudes Those guys are gonna come down. head in the gas. So that was just a lucky, nice. lucky finish. Not much I did there in the game, but I just wanted to show off. You know, sometimes you just get lucky. You just gotta move with the circle and hope that you know, hope that you're not getting flanked. Keep looking all around, always looking around. Um, so now we're now we're gonna skip ahead, or we're gonna ahead. We're gonna skip to another game. It's a solo game. Uh, I've just landed. It's second circle. Not much is going on. I've gotten a few kills, but there nothing significant happened. In order to show you I did that footage, I didn't think it was necessary. Enemy UAV. So I see somebody to my right, just running out in the woods, and I try and I, I try and ping him. With my gun, I move up to try and finish, but he gets some good shots in. Um, but I feel it's necessary to push to finish because you know, I, didn't wanna, I didn't want to deal with that guy later. I didn't want to let him res. I downed him instead of killing him, so I had to push up to finish him off. Um, and and so yeah, like I said, I've gotten a few kills in the game. Nothing too nothing too fancy. I just landed in quarry. And I've been in quarry ever since, basically, since the very beginning. Enemy UAV Circle has been clo slowly closing into quarry, so there's not. I haven't had to move much, so I've just been uh, just been kind of hanging out, hanging out in quarry and uh, and killing anybody I can see. Enemy UAV overhead. I'm gonna try and get my loadout here. I'm gonna try. And, I have a Snapdragon, so I'm gonna get my because I have a good AR. I'm gonna pick up my sniper kit, and I'm gonna pick my AR back up again if I can. If I can get it, there we go. Finally, the game allowed me to, to find it and get and get it. This is one of the dudes I had finished earlier, right there in the bush that I had killed. He was going to his loadout, I believe, earlier in the game, and uh, I just kind of sniped him from the from the building there. Nothing too. Enemy nothing too UAV overhead. Um, now I'm looking for anybody that might be coming in, and I'm tr trying to figure out what to what to buy. I decided to buy some armor and a UAV because at this point in the game I have a lot of money, and uh, so I buy a UAV, use it, and then buy another UAV. If you have enough money, uh, it's, it, while you're at the buy station, it's good to have uh, just buy a UAV, use it, and then buy another one because you're never going to be necessarily not going to be able to to do that. In, if the circle either pushes you out of the buy station's range and or other people are are the on area or watching the, the buy station, be you won't be able to, to buy stuff. Our so TV I usually use the opportunity when I'm there to buy as much as I can with the money and that I have. UAV overhead. So I'll usually buy a UAV, use it, and buy another one. Or buy a UAV, use it, and buy a airstrike. Or buy an airstrike uh, and, and, and just, you know, buy a UAV later. But I... Yeah, I usually buy UAV and use it right away. Because if I have the money, why not, right? It gives me the chance to see who's around me. There's no guarantee that I can see everybody on the UAV. If somebody's running Ghost, if they've gotten their loadout already, then then obviously I'm not going to be able to see them on the radar. So it's not going to help me in that situation. But at least it gives me some information about who may be in the area. So that's why I do that. We're going to skip ahead a little bit here. I'm just going to be moving into the mountains. And uh, we're just going to skip past moving up. Nothing's happened. I, did, I, I got in the mountains and I turned around and I saw this guy leaving the compound that I was just at. So I'm trying to snipe this guy, but I can't I can't snipe him uh, properly. He's good at moving, so I didn't get a chance to hit him in the head, unfortunately. Um, but he throws us. Throws a, thinking I, I won't be able to snipe him, I guess. He throws, throws a flashbang out or something and, and tries to run into the building. But I think he ran straight into somebody. And... Because I had already blasted him, I'm pretty sure he's he's a dead monkey. So uh, I mean, at this point, I'm just kind of sitting up on this on this high high point, trying to see. I see somebody running here. I see somebody running out to the right here. So I get ready to to watch him run at, past this plateau in front of me, and. Uh, 
he never pops out. I'm not sure where he went here. I think he probably just stayed Gas near is closing the, in. Relocating the safe zone. Stayed near the, the plateau there. I take a chance to try and snipe somebody out of a vehicle just because I'm using a sni silent sniper. Sure, this guy knows up. This guy that I, I saw earlier probably already knows that I'm here because I was shooting at that that uh, Stand out. naked Putin looking guy before before this other one showed up. But I'm pretty sure that he killed the Putin skin guy. So uh, I'm I'm gonna take the chance since he's not super close. I'm just gonna go ahead and, and move into circle. Generally, I try and move into circle as early as possible, unless I feel like there's people around me or there's enough cover between myself and circle that it's not imperative that I get in right away. Because the earlier you can move, the more time you give yourself if a problem might occur while in the process of moving to the new circle. For example, if somebody were in that building there that I just passed and I it was the circle was pushing me and that person saw me getting pushed by the circle, then I'm basically screwed. I have no option. I have to push or I'm dead. And because I'm pushing into someone, it it, it limits my the possibility of me winning winning the engagement and or coming out of the fight on top. So I try and move as soon as the new per circle pops, generally, if, if I can, unless I'm otherwise engaged or distracted by someone else that's nearby. So uh, so I'm sitting near the edge of the map because if you sit near the edge of the map and also the edge of the circle, you're giving yourself two artificial walls that you can use to avoid getting flanked by someone else. Um, so I generally try and stay in that sort of a position if if at all possible. I, I hear some shots, the direction of that shed, but behind it, below it. So I tried to peek to see, just make sure that I didn't see anybody. I'm looking behind me, watching the circle close in, making sure that anybody that might be coming is not is is not going to flank me without me without me seeing them. I'm using the rock to my right for cover, and I hear some shots on the uh, on the left slash front of myself right here so I'm, I'm moving forward to try and and I see the guy I see the guy right there so I take him out and uh, easy peasy you know that was just because I, I knew he was coming I had just heard him get into a game with another player I decided to move up because I thought it would be it out. would be good for me Gas is in. to get closer to that hill that I thought he was gonna be coming by so I uh, and it worked out it worked out pretty good in the long run so now there's only 10 10 left and uh, and I'm still I'm still using the edge of the map as sort of an artificial wall or, or a, uh, a secondary um, you know uh, what's the word I'm looking for a secondary type of cover even though it's not truly cover it it, it allows me to make sure nobody's to my right and I know nobody's behind me, or I'm pretty sure nobody's behind me because I've cleared that out as the circle closed in. Uh, but I did hear some shooting up here in front of myself, some some silent shots right here near my airdrop. So I'm kind of I'm crouching, walking up to this this spot because I I heard shots here, and I'm pretty sure someone might be here. I hear somebody reloading, so I move to the left. I see him, and I take him out. That was real simple and real easy because I got real lucky. I heard the shots one. And I moved very quietly uh, from outside of his range. I, I decided to crouch walk and move towards him. I see somebody moving in. I missed my shot. I don't know. I, I don't know how I missed that shot. But he pings me pretty strongly, so I have to move back, get behind cover, and heal up. So I, I take the time to heal and, and shield, and then I call in an airstrike to to stop him from moving further up the hill. So I, I shoot at him a bunch. I light him up. And the airstrike's still coming in. So he jumps down. Um, I, I'm make, just making sure he's not behind any of these trees. So at this point, I don't see him behind any of these trees, so I'm, I'm, I'm fairly certain he's jumped off the cliff face here. But I'm not sure if he's right underneath me or if he's down further. So I'm kind of using the cover of the cliff and moving around so that he is not 100% sure where I am either. I don't want him to know where I am. 
before I do know where he is. So yeah, he definitely did jump down. He's to my southwest. You can see that I got shot from this direct, almost direct southwest of myself. So I finally see him here in just a moment. I'm throwing out C4 just to kind of distract and or try and hit him if he's directly below. And I know I have C extra C4 I can pick up. I don't want him to be right below me because I need to move. I need to move here, and I don't want to be, to be have him right directly behind me. So I'm trying my best to uh, clear the, the cliff below myself. And finally, I see him here in just a minute. I see him out right there, right there. I I, I get a few shots on him, but not very many. He starts taking more shots back. I see him sniping. I decided to try and snipe back, and thankfully I can just see his head when he when he tries to go behind the rock and armor up. I still see his head, so I get a good shot on his head, and I wait for him to pop back up. I knew he was going to pop back up because I downed, not finished. I knew he couldn't move very far, or I would shoot him. And once you finish self-rezzing, your character stands up and or crouches. So I knew he was going to pop back up behind that rock, so I just continued to train my sight on that rock. And, and finally got my, my finishing shot on his head there when it popped back up. Uh, I hear shots to the left in the trees down there. So I'm, I'm listening, I'm looking, I'm looking for anybody below. I think I'm pretty safe up here, but I want to make sure 100% that there's nobody on this cliff in front of me. So I'm moving forward to make sure nobody's up here with me. I hear someone die below, and yeah, I, I peeked out, peek out to see what's so. going on down there. I don't see anybody. I can't see anybody directly. But now I now I see somebody get the shots getting fired. I see a guy behind the rock. I missed my first shot. I hit my second one, and I saved the life of the first guy that I that was that showed me where where the the, the second guy was. I I know the guy's down here on the cliff, and because I'm in an advantageous position here, I'm just gonna stand on top of this cliff and keep looking and keep watching, trying to find where this guy might be. I see him running there on the road. I miss all of my shots, but finally start connecting, and the last that shot in my clip finishes the, the guy. That's a war, Warzone win. Now we're going to go into another squad game. It's me and four of my friends, or three of my friends. We're trying to move into the final circle. I hit on the roof of that tall building. building. We're getting There's sniped two dudes. from this roof. I'm trying to counter snipe, at least get some shots on these guys so that they have to unpeak. They're on the roof of that tall but, uh, building, right off in the distance. It's not going so well. I'm gonna let you guys just watch this. I, I'm not gonna comment too much on this on this because there's not too much to say about these clips. This is the very end of the game, um, and I'm gonna let my you just listen to my my own talking. I'm gonna let you listen to my own comms during this game as it plays out. Gas. They jump down, so they're on the top of the buildings. Yep. On on the building. Yep. Downed one. Threw a smoke at me. Enemy UAV overhead. Nothing for you. They're on the other side of the wall, right here on the other side of the wall. There's more over here, more over here to the right, southeast. He just got his partner up over here. There's two down, two down, one up still. We gotta move to the other side and hope that nobody else is alive behind us. We can watch that way too if we want, but. There was a rocket. It was a, it was a joker. It was it was they just aimed where they thought we were gonna be running. It was a lucky, lucky shot. Here's armor. Oh wait, I don't have any armor. Never mind. Up the hill, up the hill. Uh, left over here. Downed him. Cracked the guy with the joker. Nice, thank you. I was trying to kill that guy. He had a, a self revive. Oh, there's a guy on the hill uh, to our uh, over here as well, I think. Okay. Careful. Going here. There's still a guy on the left of the Joker. I cracked his armor, but he backed up. I'm just shooting at, at trees, hoping to flush people out. Moving. 
It's just us and them. It's just us and them. Us and two. So just be careful. Oh, over here to the left. I'll go on around. the blue. On the blue. I can't see him, but I saw him shoot. Yeah, he tagged me up. Someone with me? Okay, there's I'm behind you. I'm behind right, you. I hit him once. He's running down to the right now. Uh, on blue. He's now uh, in the crevice between on the two green, hills. On green. Tag. The gas is closing in. Riku, really come on, circle's closing. Less than five remain standing. I downed him, but fuck. That is a win. Who is yours or me? Oh, nice. Yeah, I absorbed all those bullets like you do. First win? First win for you boys? There I am, there I am. I was in that that screen. What the fuck? <laughs>